clean your camera. Hello from Detroit. The filter is ugly, I know, but my hair is ugly too. I have a, such a headache. I've been trying to take this damn thing off. Front camera, not the back camera. Where is it at? Yeah, so the best thing in the world is to free yourself from any secrets, any stories that make that are holding you back in your mind. I don't care if it's your mama, your daddy, your granny. If somebody violated you and you feel like you need to get it off your chest, that's better than having them put in prison, right? I think it's better to get it off your chest than having your own mama put in prison. Cause I could have had my mom and my stepdad put in prison. You know what I'm saying? I could have. I it's there. They have life because of me. Okay. They 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 not in prison for life because I didn't tell on them. But you would think people would be grateful. People would be grateful, but they don't be grateful. They don't be grateful. You know how hard it is for some of us out here in these streets to have been betrayed by the person who brought us into this world. Then y'all want these people to function without hurting other people. Y'all want these people to get out here after y'all done let y'all husbands dig all in their booty in the middle of the night. Y'all want other people to be comfortable in this world, not to hurt somebody else when they've been hurt by the most important person in their life. Do you have any idea what it's like to live with that pain? Y'all have no idea about some of these people in these streets that would just flick you like a fly and not even think about it because of the trauma and the pain that they have going on inside them. Why y'all don't think I don't let, I didn't let nobody whoop my kids, talk to my kids, say nothing to my kids. They probably would have turned out better if I would have let their fathers or other people because of the trauma that I experienced. I didn't trust nobody with my kids. Nobody. Not my mama or my daddy. Nobody. And my daddy ain't never did nothing in his life. I don't trust nobody. And the reason that people grow up like me and Krishan, you know, and maybe even John's dad is because our parents let somebody violate us in a way that we can't we can't trust nobody on this planet. Everybody is an op because our parents was an op. So y'all got to remember that when y'all out here playing with people and then you think, oh, well, why don't they have feelings, bitch? We, we don't have feelings because we didn't come packaged with none. It's not our fault how we hear. We just hear by the grace of God. Okay? It is literally the grace of God that we are here. Because when you come here and you expect for the person who brought you here to protect you, animals and wolves and um, sheep protect their children. When our own parents don't protect us in a way that we know we should be protected, you can run into anybody in these streets with that type of pain and anger in their heart and they will hurt you. So stop thinking shit is sweet out here. It's not sweet because some of these foul ass women just let anybody around their kids. Anybody could babysit their kids. They don't even got to know their history. They don't got to know who they are. They don't got to know if they've been to prison, if they sleep with boys, if they sleep with girls. They just let them move into their house and then that becomes their kids. 
My mother let a man beat me to a motherfucker until I had whips and bruises on my back. And then turn around and that same nigga trying to finger bang me in my sleep. I don't have the same type of fucks and feelings that y'all have for each other. And that's not my fault. I try to grow some feelings and some fucks like y'all have every day. I do. I try to give a fuck like y'all give a fuck every day. Those of y'all who had mothers like, you know, my kids had. And those of y'all who have fathers like I had. But I just, I can't find them. So if I don't give a fuck and I just blink and you're not there no more, that's just what it is. I don't, it's not, it just... This this my DNA makeup. I can't, I have tried my whole life. My sister talking about, oh, you need to get help if you can't forgive. How you gonna forgive a motherfucker that's mad at you for telling your truth? If I speak out about my truth, then you mad at me. Bitch, this my life. Yes, I'm gonna write a book. Yes, I'm in the process of writing a movie. Yes, I'm gonna tell my life story. I'm not gonna leave that out. And you still can't find it in your heart to apologize and accept that you was wrong. If one of my kids come to me and say, mama, you did this wrong, I accept that shit. I own it. You know what? My bad, baby. Maybe I shouldn't have been so tough in your business. Maybe I should have let y'all do something else. Maybe I should have been, you know, more respectful to y'all dads and let them, you know, be more in y'all lives. But I, I don't know. I don't know how to do that. So I would accept anything my kids said. If they say, mama, you was a hoe, oh, my bad. <laughs> mama, you ain't shit. Oops, my bad. No, not my mama. Mm -mm. She mad to the core because I speak my truth and I tell my story. It's in my books. It's in my autobiography. It's in, it's in my life because I don't want y'all women out here to make the same mistake of thinking it's sweet to let a man that you think love you come in and finesse you out your daughter. You don't do that to your kids. You feel me? You don't let no motherfucking body in these streets come finesse you out your kids. Now, if your kids choose to get up and say, fuck you and go, fuck you, bye-bye down the road and tell them motherfuckers, see you when I see you. But as long as your kids is in your house, you don't let a motherfucker come finesse you out your daughter's virginity, out her ass. And don't be blaming it on her time out. She get out the shower with no clothes on, bitch. I don't know. I'm fucking 10, 12 years old. If I jump out the shower, I'm not, I'm at home. I'm not, ex and I run and get my towel. I'm not expecting that that's about to turn your nigga up. It ain't supposed to. It's not supposed to. You didn't raise me with no stepdaddy. He just popped up out of nowhere. So I don't know. I'm used to my own daddy. My own daddy don't fuck around with kids like that. You feel me? So some of y'all is giving these men a second chance. And you know what I'm saying? You're going to read about it in my book. I'm going to tell my story whether she like it or not. She ain't never apologized. So it must be what, what God want me to say that's on my heart. Because... I'm pretty sure if she had apologized, maybe I would feel some type of way about not talking about her man. She ain't even with the motherfucker no more. He knocked her teeth out <laughs> right after he tried to fuck me and was gone down the road and been gone down the road ever since. I don't know why we still protecting this motherfucker to the end, but that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to use every inch of my life to tell what my pain is and hope that maybe y'all learn how to treat y'all kids and raise y'all kids and protect them from these monsters in these streets. Unlike some of us that y'all running around here talking about, me and Krishan and some other women in this world that have been violated by their own mother for a man, we ain't, we different from y'all. We fucking different. We ain't gonna never be like y'all. Okay, we not gonna never know what it's like to be first. We not gonna never know what it's like to have somebody watch over us. Y'all got that. Be grateful. Everybody's not the same. And that's okay. We okay. We okay. We gonna be okay. Not today, baby. Not today, like Remy. You gotta go. Not today. Not when I'm in my feelings. You can't be here, baby. Not when I'm in my feelings. Y'all can play with me on any day you want to, but not, not for free on this day. Not for free on this day, because this is something near and dear to my heart. It's near and dear to my daughter's heart.
my kids don't even live comfortably with other motherfuckers around their kids because of how I was raised. Now, now imagine that. They can't even have, my daughter got to date somebody in prison so she can pen pal a motherfucker because she don't trust nobody with her boys. You see how generational this fucked up feeling gets and then everybody is like, well, protect the predator. Why? It's better out than in. I could have them motherfuckers imprisoned right now for life for what they did to me. Do I do that to y'all? No. Why is everybody coming for me and I'm still out here protecting y'all? Now, if I tell my story and the police happen to pick it up, I didn't say I was going to show up to court and snitch on you, but I'm going to tell my motherfucking truth. Now, I, I said what I said. If you don't like it, call the cops and tell them. Call the lawyers and call the cops and tell them. Have me appear and take a lie detector test and see if your man was digging in my pussy and when I told you, you didn't do shit. You didn't do a motherfucking thing to protect me or my pussy. I've been protecting my own shit since I was 12 years old. So no, I'm not like y'all. I'm, I'm sorry that I don't have that same thing in my DNA, that empathy that y'all have for one another. I don't have that. So if you get in my motherfucking face on the wrong motherfucking day, it could go real bad. That's just what it is. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Thank, give that thanks to my mama and her man, okay? And I know some of y'all done fucked with me on the wrong day. Y'all have. Including my kids. You ain't got to be sorry, baby. It's okay. I'm doing, I'm, I've been living with this pain for a goddamn 42 years now. <laughs> 42 years now. Ain't, it's too late for a heal. And all I can do, do is what God give me to do every fucking day. I'm just warning y'all, beware of the people that you fuck with because some of y'all kids don't know the end of the earth. You feel me? You don't know the end of the motherfucking earth. Okay, my kids don't know the end of this shit, okay? Now, they know a little little something, something, but they don't know the end. They don't know about a man coming to move into your mama house, fucking your mama and beating your ass with a belt till you motherfucking whipped up in the back at 10 years old like you a motherfucking dog in the streets. And your mama standing there watching while he whooped three girls with our panties showing and our, our nightgowns flying up in the air. Three bitches getting whooped like dogs in the street by a motherfucker who don't give a fuck about her or us. We don't got that same empathy, y'all got. So when y'all get on here and try to hurt my feelings, bitch, my feelings is done. I don't got no motherfucking feelings in here. And if you fuck with me on the wrong day, it's going to be bad. That's all I got to say. I don't got no feelings left. And it's a lot of people out here who got that same feeling in they, in they spine and they soul that I got. Okay? So be careful who y'all out here fucking with because you don't never know who you're going to run into. You might run into, you know, a Damama or you might run into a Krishan Rock. You might run into a motherfucker like us and, and it's just not going to end well. So just leave people alone. And if we fuck with each other, we don't give a fuck because we don't we don't know what the end we, we don't we ain't got that empathy anyway. Leave us the fuck alone. If I say something fucked up, too bad, too sad. Get over it. Either you love me or you don't. Now when I realize when I wake up from my trauma and I realize, okay, Carlissa, you might have went too far, you might have said something fucked up, I do try to apologize. I really do. But if you don't come correct, I'm probably not going to apologize and I'm probably going to finish you. So just leave me alone. I don't care about y'all hopping on here talking about, oh, it's this, she, that. I don't give a fuck about you. I barely give a fuck about my mama. So you know I don't give a fuck about you. So there you have it. There you go. <laughs> my kids ain't never have a chance because I'm their mama. You right. Talk to God about it. He gave them to me, okay? That's all I can tell you about that. Why do you think some moms protect the man and not their child? Because they want to get high and they selfish. And they just, I don't know how a bitch could love a man that much. I, I don't have that type of empathy within me. So I couldn't really answer that because I ain't never loved nobody more than one of my kids. I wouldn't give a fuck if one of my kids came in there and said the motherfucker looked at him wrong. That's the end of that relationship, okay? Because if my kids feel some type of way, it's not going to get any better. I can't fix that thing, okay? Either they 
they because kids recognize a dirt bag when they see one that's just a kid thing they know how to do that right so if your kids tell you you know what kind of kids you got you have to protect your children at all costs i don't give a fuck who mad who glad scratch your ass and get glad i don't give a fuck if this is my my sister's daddy bitch your daddy's a child molester that's just what it is. Now, maybe he got saved and maybe he gave it up and maybe he was grateful for the past that I gave him. I don't know. But that does not change the fact of what I had to live in my life. The story is going to get told. I'm going to find somebody that looked just like your daddy, Earl Julian McLean, and they're going to play the part that your dad played right before I was about to take him off this planet. And y'all need to thank God every day that I didn't. Thank God every day at 12 years old that God spoke to me and relaxed me from and let me get my butt dug in until my daddy came and got me. Okay? Because if this had happened to one of you bitches, you wouldn't, be, you wouldn't be sitting here laughing. It wouldn't be like, oh, give him a break. Oh, it's old. Oh, get over it. Bitch, fuck you and your daddy. Now run up. Run up. How about that? Catch me outside. Now I said what the fuck I said. Your mom's a dirt bag and your dad's a child molester. And that's just what it's going to be. Now if the Lord decided to, to put it in my heart to call them something new, I will. But today that's what they is. Now, I don't know 50% of y'all done had y'all asses dug up in and y'all feel like I feel and you try to mask it and you try to hide it and you try to act normal. And you see other motherfuckers that have been loved, right? And you try to act like them, but you can't. And everything in you just wants to be normal, but you just can't. So, yeah, some days I really understand Krishan's pain. I really do. Some days I empathize with her. I really do. But I ain't never stepped out of my boundaries to get smart with no adult, to fight no adult. And if I ever got into a fight with my own mama, it's because she was trying to kill me because she was mad that her man was looking at me. I ain't never, ever, ever in my life disrespected nobody's mama, not no stepmama, not no fake mama, none of that shit. So maybe her pain is a little bit harder than mine. And that's unimaginable. But you know what? It's going to be okay because I'm 52 years old. And I done made it this far with three grown motherfucking kids. And I'm going to continue to make it. And nothing y'all say to me is going to stop me. Not ever in life. Yep, we do. We need some kind of help. But the kind of help we need ain't going to come from no motherfucking fake-ass doctor talking about, oh, well, you have to, you know, try to use your your um, your countdown to get your emotions in order. Bitch, we don't have no mama that love us. And if she did love us, it, would, it wasn't the kind of love that the other motherfuckers in third grade got. When I was flunking out of third grade because I fucking couldn't pay attention to the teacher because y'all motherfuckers over here are selling dope and being weird. Because I live in the motherfucking Carter. Okay? Because I live in the dope house. So when I flunked third grade and everybody else passed in the third grade, yes, I don't have no empathy. I don't have no fucks in this world. But my kids... So this message was to y'all who walk around here thinking shit is sweet and just walking up to people and being weird to people or trying people. Don't do that no more. Don't do it. Don't lie on your girlfriend. Don't try to fuck your girlfriend's man. When y'all see these people on the news and they done did weird shit, weird shit been done to them. And some of them can't hold their composure. They don't love their kids enough. They might not even have kids. It's a lot of things that have kept me from going all the way and just snatching a motherfucker's whole head off. And that's because I love my kids. I want to see my grandkids grow up. I want to be here in case a motherfucker try one of them to put my life on the line for one of my grandkids, okay? 
I don't want y'all to think it's okay to just keep playing with these crazy motherfuckers in this world. Because there's some crazy motherfuckers in this world, and we try to act normal, but we can't. Stop fucking with people. Period. Unless you're ready to go to the end, okay? Stop fucking with some because some of these people is ready, baby. When I tell you some of these people is ready, they don't give a fuck. Leave these folks alone. Don't be hopping out your car, jumping up in people's face, and then wonder when you on the ground why. Leave these folks alone. This world is fucked up, I'm telling you. And you, some of y'all could never imagine going over there and talking to you and having to listen to your mom and be with your mom knowing that she done defiled you in such a way on this earth. Them the type of motherfuckers you want to just leave the fuck alone. Just leave them alone. They ain't bothering nobody. Leave them alone. Now, if you happen to see two motherfuckers like me and Krishan going at it, just leave us the fuck alone. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out on our own or we just the fuck won't. But I can guarantee you neither one of us is scared. Neither one of us give a fuck, okay? So leave us the fuck alone. We ain't got no fucks up in us. And you can tell our mamas we said thank you. Because, bitch, you supposed to be there every fucking day to make sure my clothes is washed, to make sure I ate, to make sure ain't nobody digging in my ass. You ain't supposed to choose nothing before me. I didn't put nothing before my kids. Not money, not a man, not a job, not nothing. Nothing. I was there on the motherfucking practice. If the motherfucking coach paid my kids too much attention, guess what? I'm going to be right here watching your ass. Zero fucks. When I tell you zero fucks, I mean zero fucks. When I go to sleep that night, I have to tell God to keep that type of anger off of me so I don't strangle somebody. Keep that type of anger up off me, Lord. My husband have to pray with me. He know my pain. I don't get in no relationship and don't tell nobody. I don't got barely no fucks in me. So if you don't got patience, don't fuck with me. Because I, I'm, I'm, I may go this way tomorrow and I may go that way tomorrow. If you ain't got it together, we ain't going to have it together, okay? Okay, cool. Then y'all wonder why, oh, every day is something. Girl, just be grateful to God that we here and that we ain't took nobody with us. At least I haven't. going to no more therapists that can't help you just gotta sometimes you just gotta keep praying can't no therapist help me undig my my mama's man's ass out hand out my ass she ain't gonna never apologize so it ain't gonna never go away so we ain't gonna never get nowhere ain't no therapist about to undo that it ain't no way no how i don't with a couple times they not getting no more of my goddamn money they can kiss my ass too And if you get blocked off this page today, it's just because I'm not in the motherfucking mood. And I don't know how to unblock you, so don't fucking ask me because I don't know how to unblock nobody. Now, if you want to get on here and say, you know, how somebody dug in your ass and kind of relate and tell me that you figured out how to handle yours, I'm willing to listen, but I'm not going to no therapist who lived in no big house with her mama, who paid for her to go to college, who graduated high school with her mom and dad there, who got to go to daddy-daughter dances. I'm not going to talk to a bitch who ain't never had her ass dug up in. I'm sorry to tell you, it ain't just ain't going to never happen. We can't relate with each other, bitch. We can't relate with each other on no motherfucking level. I don't give a fuck how many degrees you got. You do not know what it feels like to have your mom standing there while a motherfucker fondle you. No, ma'am.
sent the damn lady to block her, and now I can't find her how to block her. get this damn filter on here. Y'all see how the devil done did me? <laughs> Look at this damn filter. No, I have not talked to my mom since I went on a, sh I went, um, the game's mom invited me to a speaking engagement where I spoke about my mom and her man and me and my mom stopped speaking again. And I have not talked to my mom in four years because I spoke out and told my story um, at a speaking engagement and she felt like that offended her. Now, I don't know how it offended you, um, 20 some years later, if, if you didn't know nothing, how you offended, if you, if you were supposed to be sleep, how, how was you offended? So no, we don't talk because I told my story and it's going in my book and my in my Netflix series. So yeah, it's a whole problem because I want to tell my my truth and my life and my story, how I got so fucked up. Okay. The whole family know. They've been knowing since I was 12 years old. My mom wouldn't have the balls to join the lie. <clears throat> yes, it's very crazy to watch your own mom. And then to be 12 years old and to be able to, fa to face your predator in front of your mom thinking she about to help you. No, bitch, you're going to make it worse. So my digging about to get harder. He about to dig my shit all the way out now. I stood right in front of her and him, and I said, this man is touching me. This man is touching me every night. You know what she said? Oh, I'm going to handle it. I walks out the room. No, I, he's still coming every night. You ain't doing shit. Then one day we go swimming. My coochie hurting. I'm in the swimming pool. My shit hurting because you know the chlorine. She think I'm complaining about him. She beats me up, busts my nose, busts my lip, tell me she gonna take me to the fucking hospital and see if I'm still a virgin. I put my clothes on, bloodied up. She gonna try to wipe the blood off. No, bitch, take me to the hospital with this blood on my face. Tell him you just bust me up because you think I'm try trying to tell you that your man digging in my ass again. So after I got beat like that, I stopped telling her. Now we at the motherfucking donut shop. She don't take me to the hospital. She take me to the donut shop talking about I'm going to get you a donut because I love donuts. Bitch, I don't want a donut. You done just bust my whole mouth up thinking I'm over here trying to fuck your nigga. Only thing you could get on here to tell me is my mom willing to take this lie detector test. That's all I want to know. Meet me at the police department and tell me you want to take the lie detector test. That's the only thing you could get on here and tell me, bitch. That you ready to go to the police department and tell these white folks that you didn't know. I want you to go take this lie detector test and tell these white folks I will meet you at any police department right motherfucking now. I ain't even washed my ass yet. Tell me what police department we could go down and tell these white folks that you didn't know. That you sat there every night after I told you and you didn't know. That's what we could go do. When, bitch, when you ready to talk to me, meet me at the motherfucking LAPD department with that lie detector test. So y'all both can go in that motherfucker together. I'm doing a two for one special. That's the only way you getting out of this. 
is if you go to that motherfucker and tell them people that you ready to take a lie detector test, you didn't have nothing to do with what that man did to me. And if you fail that motherfucking test, you going right with his ass. Now keep playing with me if y'all want to. I'm going to tell my truth. I'm going to tell my story until I can't tell it no more so that somebody else won't let they uh, drug-selling husband, they crack cocaine husband, come stay at their house with their daughters. That's what you should be out here preaching at your old age. At your old age, you should be out here telling these women, you don't never let no man come live at your house. Your mama ain't let no man come in on you. You're supposed to be telling these young ladies, you don't never trust no man to come in on your daughters. Don't ask where Mr. Sterling at, because he been told me to tell my, my story. My husband support any fucking thing I say, that's the truth. My husband want to talk to her man. My husband want to talk to her husband, honey. No, nah, she gonna get on there and talk about my daddy told me to make up a lie that so that so her so cause he don't want cause I don't want her husband at our house. Bitch, I would never lie on nobody about no child molestation at 40 years old. I guess he lied, my sister lied too. Yeah, go on down there and take that lie detector test. Go on down there. You left that part out your truth when you told them that you were a recovering crack addict. You forgot that part. Go on down there and tell them white folks the truth. I don't know if he did his own daughter. She act like he did because she don't talk very much. She's a mute. So I don't know. I know my daughter. I know my sister. I know. Uh, I know one of my sisters got it. Ain't no like mother like daughter. I wouldn't let nobody touch my daughter. Nobody. I didn't let no man babysit my kids. I didn't let no. I didn't let my kids' daddies whoop them. No, no, ma'am. You cannot whoop my kids. Sorry. I got trauma. I don't let nobody hit my kids. No. Not the babysitter, not the auntie, not the uncle. Nobody. I'm not adding her to the live. She can meet me at the police department with the camera crew. Pull up, bitch. You're not getting on this live. Pull up to the camera crew and let's talk to the popo about it. That's where we can get on live, at the police department. You all want to talk to me about it no other time. Why you want to talk now? Because you want candy camera? Well, you want to talk to me about it, meet me at the popo station. Meet me at the popo station. That's where you can tell your side of the story. Now, you should have been told your side of the story. What you waiting on? Yeah, talking about she want to get on this live and tell her side of the story. Uh-uh, meet me at the popo station. Let's tell them the side of the story. Ain't no statue of limitations on this pussy. Ain't no statue of limitations. I was 12 years old, Miss Ma'am. You should have been got on live. You should have been got on that popo station. You should have been took that man down there. Ben, you ain't got nothing we want to hear on this live. Go on down there to the popo station and pass that lie detector test. Like you tried to go down. The only thing you ever went to court for was some of that man's money. And that didn't work out for you. Go on down there like you did at his court hearing and trying to tell them people that you've been with him this whole time to get some of that VA money. And it didn't work out. Now go on down there to the popo station and do it again. And tell them I sent you. I don't have 
have no mom. And, I t and I'm telling y'all it is. She said it wasn't true, and I'm telling the truth it is. Now catch me when you catch a lie. Don't leave no comment on here. Tell her to meet me at the Popo station. My dad found out when I was 12 because my grandma said not to tell my dad because my dad would end up in jail. Her mother, rest her soul, asked me not to tell my dad so that my dad could just come pick me up and leave quietly. So no, we, my dad did not know until I got all the way to Ohio and my sisters came right shortly behind me, no. My dad had already been to jail for fighting her husband a few times prior to that. So my grandmother asked me not to tell him. She can't get on this live, not never. The only time she could tell her story is to the motherfucking popo. That's the only time you can tell your story is to the police under a lie detector test. And I will take one too. Matter of fact, I will take one first. Right. She says she'll meet her at the police department. She can tell her story to LAPD because ain't no statute of limitations on 12 year old coochie. Ain't no statute of limitations on 12 year old coochie. 12 year old coochie is, is still able to tell the truth. And, and, and it was in the state of California, San Bernardino, California. So statue of limitations in California on 12-year-old coochie still need to be paid for. So you tell her that. Tell her, meet me at the San Bernardino Police Department. She's going to try to tell my nephew I'm lying, try to tell people I'm lying. Girl, you didn't, you didn't even have to bring this up again. You could have just left it in the closet. Now run, tell that. Tell, now go tell that. Tell my nephew you want to take a lie detector test right in front of him. That's what you do. because it happened to my sister too. I'm not the only one, Miss Lady. So don't try to get on here and act like it's Carlissa because you know it happened to my sister too and you apologize to her because her voice ain't as big as mine. Don't get on here trying to play like you don't know shit.
She ain't gonna apologize and take no accountability, girl. I am 50, one on 52 years old. This motherfucker, my mama ain't even got no teeth. This motherfucker knocked my mama's teeth, left my mama's teeth in another state. This motherfucker left my mama's teeth. My mama ain't got no front grill, ain't had no front grill since she was in her 20s. This motherfucker knocked my mama's teeth out and left them in another state. And she still got her stinking ass up and told these motherfuckers it ain't happened. With no teeth in her motherfucking mouth. She protect this man with no teeth in her mouth. She still got this man last name on her last name. That's not my mama last name. This motherfucker left my mama teeth in another state, stepped on her motherfucking face, and crunched them bitches that she did not protect me with. He stepped on her motherfucking face and put her in a hospital and they wired her jaw shut. The month I left, when he didn't have no more of my ass to dig in, he dug in my mama's mouth and snatched her motherfucking teeth out. Tell him that, mama. Tell these motherfuckers what happened to your teeth. Your teeth is in fucking San Bernardino and you in motherfucking the valley. That motherfucker, your teeth is still on the ground from that motherfucker. Don't play with me, mama. Tell these motherfuckers where your teeth at. That motherfucker took your teeth out as soon as I took this young coochie and moved out of state with my daddy. That motherfucker didn't want nothing else to do with you. He stepped on your whole goddamn mouth. And you had a nice mouth. Now tell these motherfuckers, since you want to get on here and talk, tell them where your teeth at. Matter of fact, get on this bitch without them. Take your teeth out and tell them your story, bitch. Stop fucking playing with me. I'm not to be played with. Now, I done let you get away with this shit for a long time for you to be running around here saying my motherfucking name without apologizing. Now, come on now. I ain't never put my hands on you unless you was trying to kill me about your man. I'm 12. This motherfucker has psoriasis all over his body. You was foul. I don't give a fuck what you was smoking. That shit was ugly and it was nasty. And you should be ashamed of yourself for not doing nothing but getting on here and saying you sorry. You gonna go to hell with this sin on your back? For what? For a man that stepped on your mouth the month I left? And knocked your teeth out? Your teeth is out here and you over there. You know what I would have did to a nigga that stepped on my mouth? Oh, but you had your mama and your daddy. You had your mama and your daddy, so you didn't have that grit in you. You didn't have that grit and that grind in you. Because a motherfucker who stepped on my mouth... <laughs>